Hi folks, today I would like to tell you about integration of SAST to GitLab pipeline. And as example, I will use one of my old projects, private VPN. In one of my previous videos, I told you how to set up GitLab and runners with two simple scripts. And by the way, I modified them a little bit, as you can see in this commits. Okay, now let's get back to our project and check GitLab CI configuration file. It is some kind of instructions to your runner of what to do in exact pipeline for your project. It includes stages of execution and you can describe on each stage what should it do and what should it output to end user. Usually they include scripts to execute on runner or sometimes they extend other stages. And of course you can set stage execution sequence and as you can see compliance is on the end. In production pipelines it could be also deploy stage after compliance and maybe a build stage if it is for example webpack project or java application or something like this but in our case it pretty simple just test code and try to pass compliance okay now let's go to the pipeline tab and run a new pipeline manually and usually it starts itself when we push a new code to GitLab. And as you can see, there is three jobs started in pipeline, two tests and one compliance. Now let's check what's going on in SAST job. As you can see, it gets all your code from repository and analyze it with community security rules and shows a simple report with founded vulnerabilities. Now let's look at second job, actually do the same stuff but without report to end user in CLI. And this job is important for us because the result of this job will be used to try to pass compliance test in the last job of our pipeline. And now we can see that compliance test was filed because our project has a solid list of vulnerabilities. And now let's have a quick look at the JSON reports from our code analyzers. This one was used for the compliance and it's pretty hard to read it. And the second one from same grep more user friendly and you can get important information from it. For example, there is a useful advice for Nginx container setup. And in the end, I would like to say that I know a lot of good people who try to invent new software and their projects are really impressive, but unfortunately they don't pay attention to security. I hope that this simple SaaS setup will help them to create nice, fast, gorgeous and of course safe applications.